Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Kid. We back at it again. How you doing, guys? Let me know how you guys doing in the comments below. Let me know how you doing, baby. We are on part two, best of audience annihilation of Frankie Boyle. We're going to see if it, it redeems itself a little bit for me. Maybe there's some other ones I might have to check out to see if they're, um, up, you know, more up my alley. But um, we're going to check it out. Let's get right to it, baby. I reckon your pussy's seen more action than fucking hell, man. I'll abuse you so badly you'll think I was a friend of the family. I'll abuse you so badly Jeez. your gynecologist will think you've been in a fucking car crash, you evil cunt. That's what my granddad used to call a four-cock mouth. She's slightly cock-eyed. A lot Since of cock. I put my cock in both her eyes. Couldn't oh look my God. if you were skipping through a field of corn, wearing an Easter bonnet and licking a lollipop. <laughs> How you doing, man? What's your story? What's your hopes for the future? To be a stand-up comedian, I suppose. To be a stand-up comedian. Oh, boy! <laughs> Wanna fucking give it a try? <laughs> <laughs> Put him on the spot. Oh, I know you've all been raised on the fucking X Factor and you think that's how it works. <laughs> hey, fuck off. <laughs> There's no way that he's had the fucking abusive childhood necessary to do this job. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, the fucking laugh is crazy. What's your real fucking plan, mate? I make it fucking convincing this time, or I'll <laughs> drive you into the ground like a fucking tent peg. <laughs> See what happens. See what happens. You better get a fucking plan, son. <laughs> You're living in Glasgow in a recession. You're gonna be, end up being the world's first ever male prostitute that has to offer a meal deal. Jeez. Mouth asshole and a soft drink for 149. <laughs> this kid's gonna think a new career, man. Fuck that. He's like, fuck this shit. We have an out nectar points. <laughs> How you doing, me boys? What's your story? Are you a schoolboy? Schoolboy? I, I feel like I'm fucking grooming you now. This is. <laughs> this is horrible. And what's your ambition, man, when you leave school? To be a professional cricketer, you fucking English cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he calls them cunt. I don't know why. Cricket is, of course, practiced in Scotland. Kind of like it. I'm not used to people being called cunt. And, again, and it probably is very determined on where you're located at, what's common lingo. So not too especially in new york or any place like that is not so common so it's just kind of funny Do martial arts <laughs> you fucking you, have you got a more realistic fucking world view <laughs> you what you want to be a pilot oh boy fantastic a fan of pilots <laughs> there's a few of them Hey, right, shut the fuck up now. Okay. <laughs> I can handle abusing this wee boy. Not probably the best choice of words to use, right? I like that one. Are you, Are you like pilots? Shut what the fuck doing? up. Yeah, You're an estate agent. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, fucking boots on the other foot now, motherfucker. You're calling us and we're not returning your fucking calls. Are you a good lady? What do you do? Clearly you'll be leaving him soon when the money dries up. <laughs> she gone. You work in fashion? What are you doing in fashion? Uh, product development. Product development? Still not telling me much. Are you working on Ann Summers in Dundee developing a crotchless shell suit? <laughs> <laughs> a crotchless shell suit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on this week? Burberry. So you're both involved in two things that are just going out of fashion. <laughs> it's all fucked. <laughs> Scottish people aren't that friendly, are they? I once saw an English guy in Glasgow. Oh, shit. Yes, we are, you liar. Can you not see how you're undermining your own argument here? <laughs> I think we're a bit unfriendly. Shut up, you cunt! <laughs> I like that one. I went... <laughs> that one was good, that one was good. <laughs> so an English guy in Glasgow trying to order a pint of lager and lime, and the barman went, we don't do cocktails. 
How are you doing, madam? Not saying you look like a schemer, you just look like you'd have a pebble dashed for Jazzle. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Hey, have you got your fucking phone in your bra? <laughs> you did, because I fucking saw you from the wings. <laughs> Someone will get the wrong number, they'll phone up and it'll sound like I'm drowning in your tits. Jesus. It's a natural place for your phone, isn't it? Especially when your knickers have got your bottle opener in there. <laughs> poor guy. Oh, I mean, poor girl. What's your story anyway? What'd you do? I'm an interior designer. You're an interior designer. I noticed some inconsistencies in the way that you've designed the exterior of your face. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. What a terrible way. What a terrible way. It's not so much eyebrows, it's more like someone's decided to underline your head. <laughs> Jesus. I won't give you eyebrows, so why not tear them off and draw them back on with no mirror and a lump of coal? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are you designing the interiors of? Offices. Offices? Houses. People's houses. Who else's oh, boring houses? shit. All oh, houses boring. are people's houses. There's no fucking dog houses. Well, there are dog houses, actually, to be honest. You're right, you're fucking one step ahead. <laughs> Concentrating on the people's houses, that's where the money is. The dogs have got fuck all. <laughs> Never tried to sell a dog a lamp. <laughs> you fucking strum. What the fuck am I talking about now? You little fella with the fucking Jedward fucking hairdo, are you from the future or something? <laughs> oh shit. How are you doing, me man? What's your story? What'd you do? You're a yes. student paramedic, so you could try and save someone's life. <laughs> Let me through, I might be able to do something. You're just kicking a dying man in the chest. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to work in an ambulance? Great, get to watch people die, you fucking ghoul. <laughs> Is this a girlfriend? How you doing? What'd you do? Hairdresser. You didn't meet him when you were choking on something, did you? <laughs> <laughs> the guy you used to go out with, for example. Oh. You didn't do his hair, did you? He looks like he got his hair cut trying to break up a fucking knife fight. <laughs> What about you, man? You seem a bit camp for one of my shows. How you doing, man? You all right? I don't know why I went camp there, as I said it as well. How you doing, buddy? What do you do? You're a plumber. Fantastic. How does it feel being able to set your prices depending how old and vulnerable someone looks? <laughs> Must be great, man. This is quite a good-looking row here. Look at that row over there. It's like fucking Jim Henson's workshop. <laughs> The audience some, last night some ugly a show, man. I felt like putting out a public service announcement saying, in the event of a fire, you will all end up better looking. Jesus. Jesus. I actually enjoyed that one better than the uh, first part, but still nothing's topping that one where he was talking about uh, the kid wank wanking. Uh, that's probably my favorite one. Are there any other um, comedians that are, are ripping through the audiences that are... Um, Recommend them in the comments below if there's other ones that you want me to make sure that I get to it Leave it in the comments below guys. Don't forget to like um, Subscribe leave comments. I will always respond to every comment. So check it out um, It all helps out at the end of the day guys. So I wish you guys peace and love have a great day uh, Stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll have another good one coming up for you guys. So peace